Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy S. Johnson Kicks and Reviews, and we're back with another Yeezy 700 in it. MNVN uh, personal size and Yeezy size 14. Y'all see the colorway analog, analog, analog. Uh, it is some 700s, man. Let's get into it. All right, and I forgot to mention these joints are laceless, man. It doesn't say it on here, but they are laceless. Let's get into the box. All right, now that I opened the box, because you know it's impossible to open the Yeezy box when it's you got the camera in your hand. Um, you got the same wax paper. And you got these beauties right here, man. These are the ones I like more than the other previous 700s. The MVN. The N M N V N. Oh, that's a hard thing to say. But I like those versions of the 700s more, man. As you can see, these are laceless. So, um, I really don't like that they're laceless, but they are different, man. Let me pull them out of the box. All right, so these are the 700. Um, the 700 analogs, they're the laceless version. Um, you don't see too many of these, man. Uh, I haven't seen many laceless uh, Yeezys. I'm wondering if it is the first ones that I don't really keep up with Yeezys. But these are definitely different. Uh, I, the material, as you can see, it's a little wrinkled. Um, I don't know how you keep that from getting wrinkled, but maybe when you put your foot in, it'll get a little straightened out. I actually did put my foot in to see how it felt, and they do fit pretty good. Even though I'm a size 13, uh, these 14s actually fit pretty good, and look, it has the boost. Looks like it has the boost, so they are comfortable. They were comfortable when I put them on. Um, but like I said, I don't really like this this part of the shoe. Yeah, it does have lots of padding in this area, but I would rather have laces for the shoes. Um, I have some 700s, but I don't have them here with me. They're in the storage. Um, just to show you how the laceless and the ones with the laces look and how different they are um as you can see in this insole well you got the size tag for one in a different location y'all see it right there and you got easy in the rural on this one that reminds me of the uh black and blue ones i forgot what they called them but uh the 350s the black and blue ones and then they got the easy with the Adidas sign on this one. So these are definitely different, man. Um, I know these have a lot more reflectiveness in it. I'm pretty sure this part right here is reflective. Um, it's like a cream color, man. You could probably catch these in your JD Sports or your Foot Lockers, because they're not really selling crazy. But I just bought them, you know, just to see. Um, they looked real good online. They are all right. They're different. They're definitely different. But I like these more than I like the Salt uh, 700s that I just reviewed. Um, these are a little different. Well, when you put your foot in, they probably look a lot better. But they do come with a shoe tree that's wrapped in some, uh, some paper. It's a very hard shoe tree, actually. Not like a soft one. It's very tough, and I'm guessing to keep the form of the shoe because they are laceless and they don't really have a hard backing. So they kind of like some slippers, man. As you can see right here, man, this part is bothering me with this wrinkle right here. This is crazy. But as you see, it kind of looked like the Wave Runners in the back, even though the Wave Runners are 700s. Um, give me those vibes on this shoe right here. Um, this is different. They got the the size tag right here on the back on the pull tab y'all can see everything on there you can see the style code you can see the sizes everything you can see on there man so pretty decent shoe man let's do some b-roll and then i'll give you my rating for the shoe
All right, so I did turn the flash on so you guys should see that it did have some reflectiveness to the shoe. Like I say, the shoe looks kind of weird right now, but as soon as you put your foot in there, it should look pretty good. Um, I'm gonna have to get these a rating. Uh, these would be slightly higher than the other ones, but uh, like I said, I'm not really digging this part right here. They are very comfortable shoes, so I probably will keep them. Um, and I will see how they look when I put my foot inside of them. But uh, definitely I would have to get these probably like a seven. Um, still kind of low because, you know, if your foot's not in it, <laughs> this is what you have, man, a flat shoe. A flat shoe, they're very comfortable when you do put your foot in. But remember, if you're a wide foot, at least go up a, a whole size. Um, and if you're just like a regular size shoe, uh, foot, you can go up half a size and they should fit very comfortable. Um, they actually are one of the most comfortable shoes that I put on from Yeezy. Um, so I got to give them points for that. But like I say, the shoe appearance without the shoe, your foot inside of it doesn't look as good. So I have to get a lower score. But you have it right here, man. Yeezy 700. Uh, the analog. It's like a vanilla color. There you go, man. That's Johnson Kitchen Reviews, and we're out.